Hi there, everyone. Rob here with your Packer update for this evening, the 1st of April 2012. We're still watching the storm after it did move on shore. Approximately 06 Zulu. That's about a 1300 standard time here in Vietnam for your local time. A little earlier than expected. It did speed up just slightly prior to landfall. Finally got a little forward momentum. I think that's mainly due to the jet stream, which is up here lingering around southern China, or at least actually a branch of the jet stream which is coming through here and that has sped up this storm a little bit also increasing a lot of vertical wind shear in the midst of it and that's why you see all this shearing off along the northern periphery all these lines continuing to shore it off towards the northeast well that's due to that high amount of vertical wind shear actually if we pull up the wind shear on this you can see up to 40 50 even 60 knots up there in the Hanine, and that is going to be allowing this storm to continue to get disrupted even though it is over land and that's also going to cause disruption alone due to the mountains across much of the area here unfortunately these mountains are also squeezing out the moisture and you can see a rapid decrease in the cloud cover over the last several frames here you do see those darker areas of blue starting to shade off into lighter areas of blue and those clouds are not just disappearing or evaporating out there they're all ringing out here and continuing to drop very extensive and high amounts of moisture and rainfall there across southeastern Vietnam and our reports over 150 even 200 millimeters of rainfall in some locations locations here and also still seeing some very gusty winds even still recently out of Ho Chi Minh City there was a report of up to about a gust of about 38 knots out of there so still very strong winds heavy extensive rainfall continuing to cause flooding but good news this storm looks like it's going to continue to weaken out as we go into your overnight hours and into tomorrow morning but let's zoom in on that satellite picture here and you can see in the last several frames just prior to landfall there actually was a weak eye that did form up here it was, became actually quite apparent on microwave imagery and i showed that in my earlier update today and that really caused the increase in higher wind gusts out across the area here especially near the coast now we don't have any official observations coming out of there, but from the reports I am getting out across much of the areas, even even towards just towards the east and northeast of Ho Chi Minh City, they did say that extensive wind gusts and heavy rains did continue to fall out here. But you're still going to see a lot of moisture pump on shore, even just off near the coast here. Good news, behind that there is a lot of dry air, and that's going to continue to filter in and also contribute to more weakening of the storm. So that is really fantastic news because all this air down here, that's really going to continue to bring a dry air influx. You have that wind shear off towards the north, mountains continuing to ring out the storm. So I think by the next 24 to 48 hours, there's not really going to be much left of this. So what, whatever is left of it here, though, it's likely going to try to track off here towards north along the western periphery of the West Pack High, which is lingering out here, really kind of get picked up by the jet I was just talking about earlier and kind of shoot off towards the northeast. Some effects may still linger down there, kind of break off of it, and you still might get some convectional outbursts across much of northern Thailand here in the coming days. We're already seeing those heavy rainfalls continuing to be reported from Bangkok south. So some of that moisture will still linger across the area, but it looks like the bulk of it's actually going to take off towards the northeast and follow a frontal system that's starting to develop out of eastern China. We were talking about this yesterday actually in our western pacific weather update. Well you can see that here as you go into Monday and into Tuesday. See this low developing up? Well whatever little moisture is left of that likely is going to attach on that low. Kind of run across the northern portions of the South China Sea before running through the Luzon Strait and then head off towards the east. There still will be some leftover remnants but all, in all, by, all, in all though by midweek this is going Going to be completely dispersed and not much left of it as far as organization but here I'm gonna leave you with this this is the uh, microwave imagery of the system just prior and through landfall there towards the east of Ho Chi Minh City and it does show that eye wall forming up in the last several frames just prior to landfall due to some warm sea surface temperatures just off the coast but after it moved inland that land surface interaction really just tore it completely apart you do see some of these colors fade away that's also what I'm talking about with that loss of moisture just continue the pummel of the southeastern coast of Vietnam here but thanks once again for everybody that continue to uh, bring in updates throughout the day today I'm also looking for video and picture updates actually haven't seen anything on the web out here coming out of the region so definitely looking for first signs of that through the overnight hours likely will not see anything but likely by by tomorrow morning to midday more information will start to pour in and we'll continue to keep you posted here at westernpacificweather.com for more information across this storm and also the entire western pacific so please stay safe out there everybody and have a safe night